Alright, everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Banjo-Kazooie with Black Zero. We're gonna have quite an eventful video this time. I'm gonna be staying quite busy here. There was uh, some bitching and moaning on the last video about me skipping notes, so guess what we're gonna do? We're gonna grab all the notes in the level. That's right. Actually, we're gonna completely finish the level, but, um... To prevent further bitching and moaning, I just want to go ahead and point out that we will be grabbing all the notes. So you can all relax, people. You can all chill out. I haven't forgotten. I ha I do know that you need notes. So relax, everyone. It's all right. We'll make it through this. Anyways, we're going to grab this Jinjo, and we finally get to see uh, Mighty Mumbo Magic in its most primitive form, I guess. Its first transformation. And uh, we're going to learn that move that I, uh, you're about to see that I f keep forgetting about. The problem is I've played this game a few times, so you're used to having all these moves. And you forget that you have to go learn them again when you start over. And there's another easy jiggy. But um, yeah, you keep forgetting, so you'll see me do that again here in a minute. I'll try to break a, destroy a hut with it, and I won't have anything to use. Anyways, here's, uh, here's Mumbo, and this is his mountain, I guess. He's up on this little hilltop. And uh, here's his village, and I don't know if anyone actually lives here, but I, I uh, certainly hope they don't. Because I'm about to completely destroy this place. I mean, not just destroy the houses, I'm going to, like, remove their totem pole, too. I'm going to completely raid this village. Oh, and I decide to speed up this dialogue. You know, I, I think most of us can read fast enough to keep up. If not, just let me know and I'll go back to doing it freaking slow-ass time. And there's another easy jiggy in a Mumbo's giant skull. Don't ask me what this skull, what that skull is from, what animal or creature it came from, but... I'm glad we don't meet any of them in this game, because I wouldn't know what the hell to do if I saw something that big coming after me. And yeah, as Bottles just announced, we have enough notes to break through the door, so even though I talked about the bitching and moaning about notes, it was it was well-founded bitching and moaning, because you really do need notes in this game. So, yeah. And, uh, keep destroying huts. Death from above! Give him a dose of that too. That's the guy that chased us out of the village, so he deserved a he deserved he deserved that. <clears throat> and yeah, there's the jiggy from rescuing five Jinjos. And uh, we're gonna finish destroying this village. There's a golden banjo. That's an extra life. You don't really need it though, but I'll grab it anyways because it's gold and shiny. You know it lures you in with its glow. And, uh, now it's time to get rid of this totem pole. I wonder if Mumbo's pissed about us destroying his totem pole. Oh, I am gonna show you guys one thing here real quick. I'm sure most of you know. But before you just before you get rid of this last totem head, you gotta jump on top of that stuff. Like I'm about to do, jump on top of that. And grab this, uh, honeycomb piece. There we go. On the road to extra health. And now, we're on the road to completing the level. And that gives us... That gives us, uh, Jiggy number nine. And that leaves us with one, uh, with one Jiggy left. But before I can go in there and get it, I, uh, I have to run around a bit and find the Mumbo heads. No, uh, no bears allowed in Ticker's tower. And, yeah. It's a bit ironic, Bottles tells you you can climb steep slopes with a talent trot, and as soon as you enter a place with really steep slopes, you, uh, you fall off. Yeah. It's kind of funny, but whatever. And there's that, uh, monkey man again. We have completely humiliated him with eggs. Demasculinated him. And, uh, I still can't steer the talent trot worth crap. But, uh, that's alright. <clears throat> and there's that Wii sound that I, that I mentioned earlier. And 
let's uh, let's go ahead and grab these notes. We can leave no notes un uh, <clears throat> unturned over here, uncollected. So, yeah, you really do need notes, and you might as well just grab them all in these easy levels. There's absolutely no excuse not to grab notes in this game, because you really need them to get through the game, so no point. Didn't mean to wake him up yet, but uh, it's best shaman in all game. And uh, we need more mumbo heads. That little sign tells you how many you need, and we quite obviously don't have enough. So it's uh, it's back to scouring the globe for the last mumbo head. Right after we grab some eggs. Just about every mumbo hut has some stuff hidden, some collectibles in it. So if you're ever short of anything, check your local mumbo hut. They might have it. It's kind of like the uh, the Walmart of Banjo Kazooie. Well, maybe not, but. We're gonna head down here, and there's our last mumbo head, and some notes I completely forgot about. Oh, yeah, there we go. There's me failing to steer the talent trot again. And let's enjoy Kazooie's little wee sound. You know, we all love it, right? And that bull, I freaking hate that bull. You cannot kill that thing. But he has no problems about kicking your ass. And, uh, there's uh, the monkey throwing oranges again, but uh, not much we can do about it now. We've already pretty much humiliated him. There's no point in driving him down farther. And in case you forgot, there is a switch up here that I couldn't activate. So we're going to go ahead and activate that before we transform. And you'll see why later. Whenever we... When whenever we finish up here. So now that we've done that, that leaves us with uh, pretty much one thing left to do. Well, technically two, but they're, they're both resolved by the same course of action, so technically just one. And that is, listen to Kazooie screaming her head off, and then going up here and seeing the first transformation of the game. Alright, let's see this awesome, all-powerful, mythical being that he changes us into that will help me beat the game. Here it comes. Wait for it, people. Ah, oh, the suspense is killing me. And... yeah. Okay. We're, uh... He turned us into an ant. Oh, no, a termite. Never mind. A termite. Yeah. Good stuff, man. Good stuff. Totally worth five mumbo heads. Anyways, let's go in this tower. What a ripoff. I want my mumbo heads back. He doesn't even breathe fire or anything. Shoot lasers out of his big ass eyes. But he does have his blue backpack, so I guess that, that makes up for it. Anyways, in here we will find not only the last jiggy, but the last few notes. As soon as I... There we go. As soon as I grab it. And those are all the notes in the level. There you go, Twiforce. That was for you, man. And, uh, we're gonna climb up to the top, and we're gonna beat the game. One level at a time. Well, we're gonna beat the level, but we will beat the game, but right now, beat the level's the immediate goal. And, there we go. What a view, right? It's a good shot of the level up here. And there's the last Jiggy. And we're going to jump off of here and commit suicide. Black Zero jumps off a termite mound. And Real Blonde points and laughs. <clears throat> so anyways, there's our other honeycomb piece right there. <clears throat> and there's two in each level, so that's all for this place. It's time for us to head out of here and grab one last Jiggy. Can I beat it before the time limit? The answer is yes. We can. We can do this. And that's why you want to keep the termite for the last, for the last thing you do. It just kind of streamlines that bit. So now that we're done with that, it's uh, it's time for us to move on. Oh, wait, yeah. You can't keep your transformations when you leave the level. You change back. So as much as I would just love to play through this game as a freaking termite, I just can't do it, man. I j the game won't let you, which is a ripoff. Anyways, next time on Banjo-Kazooie, we visit Treasure Trove Crove, 
Cove. That's the second time I've done that. Treasure Trove Cove. See you then, guys.